Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Base Systems Hawk T1. The Base Systems Hawk is a British single engine jet powered advanced trainer aircraft. It was first flown at Dunsfold, Surrey in 1974 as the Hawker Sidley Hawk. The subsequently produced by its successor companies British Aerospace and Base Systems respectively. It has been used in training capacity and is a low-cost combat aircraft. Operators of the Hawk include the Royal Air Force, uh, notably the Red Arrows display team, and a considerable number of foreign military operators. The Hawk is still in production in the UK and under license in India by uh, Henderson Aeronautics Limited, with over 900 Hawks sold to 18 operators around the world. So overall, uh, the base system's Hawk is a uh, simple trainer um, that can also be modified for very... Um, simple combat type roles. Um, it's most similarly notable to the Goshawk, which is the US Navy uh, trainer jet that um, is used in the United States. So, uh, you know, very similar between the two aircraft. They're basically the same, um, besides a few little differences here and there. Um, so, you know, pretty cool stuff over there. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool, interesting jet. And they're UK jet and um, this time a, um, you know, trainer jet. So pretty cool stuff all around. So, um, before we go ahead and dive in and take a look at the build, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your um, choosing. So, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is down in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look at this um, aircraft, see what we got going on here, and obviously moving into doing the tutorial for it. So, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I went ahead and did the kind of standard um, UK camouflage from about the late um, 1980s and 1970s and stuff like that with the gray and uh, green kind of camouflage type design. I think it looks really cool on it and I did see pictures with it, so um, it can and um, is accurate to the actual aircraft itself. So it looks pretty cool all, all, all the way around. It's got the, uh, you know, RAF Randalls on both sides and also has the rent on the side here and I believe for trainers they have like this white X on the side here to represent it being a trainer or something of that sort but we have that located here on the side here maybe banners and um, you know just the color palette on the tail and the um, maybe the squadron letter or um, you know something like that up there on the top uh, a vertical stabilizer horizontal stabilizers uh, pretty cool slanted looks pretty nice and we have the wings themselves with um, pylons on both sides here for missiles and obviously those can be easily taken off if you don't want them but um, there are some pictures with the Hawks with missiles I thought they looked pretty cool so I uh, went ahead and threw those on and um, overall it came out really nice just a really nice looking aircraft overall and um, yeah pretty happy with the way it came out of course we have a landed version of it as well so if you want to have this thing landed you can um, have the ability to do that as well so um, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool aircraft, and again, a big thanks to Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number two. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and begin with layer number two. Now the reason why we're beginning with layer number two is a little bit easier for us to go ahead and get a nice basis for the aircraft established. And uh, layer one, you'll see once we go ahead and do it, it's, you know, it'll be a little bit tricky to base everything off of for that layer. So, a little bit easier to start off with layer number two, so that's why we're starting with it. Um, also, if you're new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll build half the aircraft on camera, and then the air half you guys will copy over. Um, since the aircraft is completely symmetrical, whatever we do on one side, we're going to be doing to the other side. We're also going to be building this aircraft in a completely gray um, color scheme, so using stone brick and stone. And we're going to be saving the camouflage for a little bit later, where I can show you the basic general idea of how to do it. Um, so that's what we're starting off with. That's how we're kind of structuring this tutorial and all that stuff. Also, if you do want to build the landed version, we're we'll building this as if it's in flight and then modifying it to be landed. So to start this build off, you're going to want to make sure that these top slabs here of stone brick are two and a half blocks off the ground. So you can see the orange blocks here represent two full blocks. And then you have half a block of space between the stone brick top slab and this block right there. Um, so make sure you take that into account when you are building this. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. 
We're going to start off with placing down a stone brick top slab followed by an iron trap door coming off that top slab facing toward the front direction. We then want to place down an additional 1, 2, 3, and 4 stone brick top slabs going back to give you a row of 5. We're then going to place down a near brick upside down stair followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 stone brick top slabs back and then 2 iron trap doors like that to finish it off on the end there. <clears throat> with that all done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front, go to the stone brick top slab, to the side place down an iron trap door, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 iron trap doors back. We're then going to place down a uh, stone brick stair coming off this second to last iron trap door, followed by a stone brick top slab like that to finish it off. So again, you should have something that looks just like this over here on the right side, and you're going to take this design and flip it over to the left side so you get something that looks just like that. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a block that we can easily tell apart from the aircraft so that we can delete it later. I'm going to just use some orange wool. It stands out. We're going to go ahead and count to um, our iron trap doors. So we're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Go to your 8th iron trap door back, place down a block to the side. And we're going to be going ahead and placing a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 blocks in total to the side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to then place down an iron trap door like this to the side there. After that's done, we're going to go and then place down a stone brick stair like so. And coming off the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to be placing down a row of three of cobblestone walls uh, going back. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. We're sorry, my bad. Put be a row of three, so one, two, three. Uh, with that done, we're going to then place down an iron trap door coming off the cobblestone wall, and we're going to place down a oakwood sign coming off this iron trap door. Now, if you do not want the missiles on the aircraft, you can go ahead and completely disregard having these pylons here for the wings. Um, but if you do want to have them, then obviously go ahead and throw them on. And also delete these placeholder blocks here as we no longer need them. So we should have something that looks just like this from up above here. Pretty basic so far, uh, but you kind of get a general idea on the size and, you know, kind of... Uh, points to kind of, of interest and stuff for future building on the build. Anyways, that's it for layer number uh, two. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number one. <clears throat> Alright guys, moving into layer number one, real simple. We're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of this narrow brick stair. We're going to place down a place or a block coming off of it on the bottom like this, and then we're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this block, and then we're going to delete the blocks. We have something that looks like this here on the bottom. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our um, hard points, our pylons, and put... Uh, basically uh, missiles on. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab here on the bottom of this stone brick stair. We're then going to place down a second uh, quartz top slab going toward the front, followed by a quartz upside down stair. Come off the quartz upside down stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then we want to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate to both sides of this um, quartz upside down stair. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and open up our birch fence gates toward the rear. And we're going to be going ahead and then placing down wooden signs coming off the fence gates like this to both sides. After that's done, going ahead and going back from this uh, quartz, these quartz uh, top slabs, we're going to go back one, two, three, more quartz top slabs back, and then we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair on the bottom of this iron trap door. To both sides of this quartz upside down stair, we're going to be placing down a birchwood fence gate to both sides like this, and we're going to have it opened up, uh, or sorry, my bad, it's going to be facing this direction and opened up toward the court stair, so like this. And then come off the um, birch with fence gate on both sides, we're going to be placing on a wooden sign, followed by a stone button here on the back of that court stair like that. And so you get something that looks just like this for the missile, and actually up here in the front, this need to go back one, so uh, my bet on that. Um, this is just going to go and go back one like this, and we're going to have this opened up here on both sides like so, and our oak wood sign. So basically just what we did before, just push back one more. Uh, block so it's underneath the iron trap door here and uh, once you have that all complete that missile design you're going to take and do over here on this side and once you have those missiles both put into place uh, that'll be it for layer number one and with that let's move on to layer number three all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number three so for layer three we're going to go and start off by going up to the nose of the aircraft up here we're going to place tiny stone block on top of this iron trap door followed by a stone brick upside down stair Coming off of it toward the front, and then we're going to place down two iron, uh, or sorry, two end rods coming off this stair toward the front like that. After that's done, um, we have this first stone block here. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, a second. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, and 19 stone blocks back, followed by a uh, glowstone block, a orange stained glass block, two stone brick slabs back that should end on top of this iron trap door. So that's going to do it there for your center line of the aircraft there. Moving up to the sides, we're going to go ahead and go to the first two stone blocks, back from the stone brick stair, place down two stone brick walls to the sides, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back. We then want to place down two black wool blocks back, followed by one and two stone blocks. We're then going to place down two stone brick stairs, and then a stone brick slab after that stone brick, or sorry, my bad. This is actually going to be stone blocks. So after the black wool here, we're going to have two stone blocks already. We're going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone blocks back. So my bad on that. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair here, followed by one and two upside down stairs coming off of it. So we have upside down corner stair, two regular stairs going back like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go to our black wool blocks here. We're going to go and build up to the side here, placing down two stone brick stairs coming off these black wool blocks, just like that to the side. We then want to take our stone blocks, go back one and two stone blocks, followed by one and two stone brick stairs, and then a stone brick slab like that to finish that off. Uh, going back to our tail here, we're going to go ahead and get started with the uh, horizontal stabilizers. So for this, we're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors, come off these two stone brick ups and down stairs, and then we just want to place down one iron trap door coming off of it toward the uh, the front one like that. After that's done, we're going to go from this iron trap door over like this at an angle, so you have something that looks like this, and then we're going to go one stone brick top slab back. We then want to place down a second row of two of stone brick top slabs coming off this row right here. We're going to go ahead and drop down from this stone brick top slab, and in its place, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on the back section here. And then we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull coming off this slab like this toward the front, and also off this slab facing toward the front there as well. So you have something that looks like this for the back horizontal stabilizer. You're going to take the same design, obviously, take it over to the other side as well, um, and you have your horizontal stabilizers. Moving into the wings here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to ahead and going to this st stone block right here on the side of the fuselage. We're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by one and two more slabs back. We then want to switch to smooth uh, stone slabs, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of smooth stone slabs. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three stone brick slabs again, and again in there two uh, smooth stone blocks. We then want to place down a row of four of stone brick slabs back, and then one stone slab like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone uh, brick slabs, starting at the second stone brick slab from the front here, so just like this. And then a stone slab, same thing over here, just like that on top of our pylon. So you have something that looks like this so far for the wing. When we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of stone brick stairs. So we have one and two stone brick stairs like this, and then one and two stone brick slabs that go back like so. When that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick slab that is going to be coming off the second stair, followed by a prepare slab back and a stone brick slab. We then want to go ahead and go to the side here, we're going to place down a prepare slab, like this, come off that slab there, and then we want to place down a brick slab going back from it, and then there, prepare slab like this. After that's done, a stone brick slab up here, prepare slab, stone brick slab like that. And then come off this prepare slab here, stone brick slab, and one more back. So you have something that looks just like this for the wings. And you're going to obviously be taking this wing design and doing it to the other side. And once you have that complete, you'll have two wings that look something just like that. And anyways, that's how uh, you go ahead and do layer number three. And that will wrap that up for us. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start off with, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of the stone block up here in the front followed by a stone brick slab, a stone brick stair, and then two stone blocks back. If you want to include interior space, this is where you guys can go ahead and build that interior. Um, for this tutorial, I will not be building any kind of interior for it, but I will leave the space open for you guys if you want to build something. Um, if you don't want to build an interior for it and you could care less, then a simple way to just kind of fill this area in and kind of make it you know, closed off a little bit is just go and take some black concrete and place down a row of five here block blocks of concrete. If you are planning on having an interior, you're going to go ahead and leave a space of five here and then build whatever interior you guys want to have inside the aircraft. Um, anyways, once that row of five space is either left open or filled in with black concrete, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stone blocks back, a glowstone block, a orange stained glass block, two stone brick tops as back like that, and that's going to do it there for our center line. Moving out to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab, come off the side of the stone brick stair, 
followed by a stone brick stair facing this direction and a stair coming off of it right behind it so this stair turns into a corner stair. Once that's done we're going to go and take our stone blocks, go back one, two, and three, followed by one, two, and three black wool blocks like this. Or sorry, two black wool blocks like that. We're then going to place down two stone blocks back, um, followed by three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We then want to place down a coal ore block to the side here, followed by again one, two, and three stone blocks back like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to these iron trap doors here. We're going to place down two stone brick slabs on top of them, so one, two, and then come off these two slabs. We're going to place down there one and two stone brick slabs to the side there. In this corner space here, we're going to go and place down a placer block coming off the stair, and we're going to go and then place down a skeleton skull at about a a uh, slight angle, so something kind of like this, not exactly a 45 degree angle, but kind of like a slight 30, 30 degree angle, like that, um, in the corner space there. When that's done, we're going to go to these stone brick stairs here on the ends, the sides here for the intakes. We're going to place down two stone brick ups and down stairs on top of them, like that. So look at your intake, you should have something that looks like this. Once that's done, we're going to take our stone blocks, go back one and two stone blocks, and then we're going to take our stone brick walls and place down one and two stone brick walls back like that. And that right there will pretty much wrap it up for um, this layer, for the fuselage, and we do have some work to do in terms of doing the banners on the side here. So I'm going to go and pop into doing that now, and um, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into doing the banners here for the sides. Now the first banner we're going to be doing is the blue with the white X, really simple. We're going to go and go into our loom now, place down a blue banner, which I accidentally grabbed a purple one. So let me go ahead and grab a correct one. And there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a blue banner here in the loom, and we then want to go ahead and just place down um, some white dye in here. Now we're going to go ahead and select the diagonal piece just like this, and we get a banner that looks just like that. We're going to go ahead and put the banner back in here, put another piece of white dye right in there, and we're going to go ahead and do the line going the opposite direction. So we get basically a blue banner with white stripes and both diagonals. We can go ahead and then grab the banner and we can go ahead and place them in the correct positions. So we're going to go ahead and place it down on the stone block here next to this block of coal, skip two spaces, and then place it down right here like that. So you have your two X's here with a space of two in between them. Now we're going to go ahead and then move into doing the randles here, which are a little bit more tricky. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom again, place down a red banner inside there, and we want to go ahead and then place down a piece of blue dye. Now for this, we want to go ahead and do a border that goes all the way around the... Um, all the, way right, all the way around the banner. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one right here. So we have something that looks like this. Grab the banner and we have this so far. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and go back into our loom. We're going to go ahead and place down the, the uh, banner inside there. And we want to go ahead and then place down a red die in there. Now the red die here, we're going to go ahead and take it to whatever side we want. So we can choose either side here. We're going to go ahead and go with the uh, right side to start off with. We're going to go ahead and grab our banner. And we have something that looks like this so far. We're going to go and put our loom back in, or go back into our loom, place our banner back in there, and we want to go and then place down a piece of blue dye. We're going to go and select the top left, so we have something that looks like this, grab our banner, go back into the loom, place down there, blue dye here, and we're going to go and do the bottom left. So you have something that looks just like this. And you get a banner that looks like this for your randle here, and this is going to be on the left side, like that. Uh, now it's time to go ahead and make the right side loom. So we're going to basically repeat the same steps um, in the beginning. So red loom, blue dye, we're going to go do the border around it, grab our banner. Now at this point here, it's where it gets a little bit different. We're going to take our red dye, place our red dye here. And the previous time we went ahead and did this side, we're going to go and do this side this time with our red dye. So we have something that looks like this. We're going to grab our banner, put it back in our loom. We're going to go ahead and put our blue dye in. We're going to go ahead and select the top right corner, have this, grab that banner, again more blue dye in the loom, and we're going to select the bottom right corner and we get a banner that looks exactly like the one before, just kind of revert flipped. So you have something that looks just like this for the banner here, and um, that will pretty much do it for the banners we need to create in this layer. And you're going to do the same thing over here, bring the banners over to this side, and once you have that done, you have your RAF Randall on the side of the aircraft and these uh, blue X's here, or the blue with the white X's and stuff representing possibly the it's a trainer jet or something of that sort. Anyways that right there is going to do it for the banners and with that that will complete layer number four. With that let's go ahead and move on to layer number five.
All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to begin, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and go to the second stone block after the stone brick stair and placing down a light gray stained glass block on top of it. We then want to place down an additional one, two, three, four, and five light gray stained glass blocks back. At this point here, we're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stone blocks back like that, and then followed by a stone uh, slab smooth stone step full block and then a iron trap door here on the end. With that all done we're going to go back up to the front and work our way out to the sides. We're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes on the first two light gray stained glass blocks, followed by two stone brick slabs back and then two stone brick stairs. After that we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back, stone brick stair, one, two, uh, sorry just one stone brick stair coming off that stone brick corner stair. We then want to place down two stone brick slabs back, followed by two iron trap doors, and then we're going to place down a wooden sign here on both sides of the stone slab block, like this on the end there for the uh, st or for the uh, rudder. With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then work our way out to the sides. We're going to place down a black carpet on top of the stone brick upside down stair, followed by uh, what should be a iron trap door. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. So an iron trap door here on both sides, and then we're going to place down two stone brick slabs back. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this stone brick wall. And we want to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle. So about the 3 degree angle here um, on both sides, just like that to kind of uh, flow the uh, intake into the fuselage. And uh, with that all done, that is going to do it for layer number 5. Pretty simple layer overall. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer. Layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to begin with, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves another brick slab, and we're going to go ahead and place it down on top of the second light gray stained glass full block, like that from the previous layer. Going back from it, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five light gray stained glass blocks, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone blocks going back from them. We then want to place down another brick stair with the back of the stair facing toward the rear, two stone brick slabs, two iron trap doors, stone brick slab, two stone blocks, and a stone slab full block here on the end with a wooden sign on both sides of it. We then uh, want to go and go up, back up to your canopy up here in the front and we'll go to our sides. On the light gray stained glass pane here on the bottom, we're going to place down a leather skeleton skull, so there's one on both sides of the standard brick slab, and those are going to be about a 45 degree angle. We then want to go ahead and go back from those along these five light gray stained glass panes, or light gray stained glass full blocks with five light gray stained glass panes. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by one and two stone brick slabs, and then an iron trap door like that on the end there. Uh, with that all done, that will pretty much uh, wrap up the um, fuselage here, what work we need to do, and we're gonna go ahead and now move into work on doing the banner here on the back. So I'm gonna see you guys in a sec, once you grab the materials, and we'll get into uh, working on that banner. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into building this banner. The banner is super simple. Um, it's the easiest one we have to build. Uh, we're gonna grab ourselves a loom, place it down, go into the loom, place down a blue banner in the loom, and then red dye in the color palette there. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and select the banner that is split in half. So you want the white over here on the right side. So you have a banner that looks like this. So you have the red on the right side, blue on the left side. We're gonna go and grab this banner, and that's all we need to do. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're gonna go and go to this stone block here, place down our banner right here, and the same thing will be placed over here on this side as well. So you have your banner here, both sides just like that, blue, red, um, that's how you want it. And uh, once you have that all done, that will complete layer number six, and with that we can go ahead and move into our next layer. All right guys, moving into our uh, next layers, we're gonna be going just finishing off the build, moving into our last layers seven, eight, and nine. So for these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna be going ahead and go into the top here of the fuselage, go to the second, like gray stained glass block, place down an air brick slab on top of it, followed by one more that goes back like that. We then want to place down an iron trap door, come off that air brick slab, so you have basically a little bit of a slope design there to the canopy. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and go back to these stairs here. On top of the stairs, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides. On top of this air brick stair, we're going to place down a place order block, and coming off that block, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like back, going back like that, so just like we did for the bottom there, we're going to delete the block and we have something that looks like that, so again, very similar to what we did there on the bottom. Going back to this section on top of the stone block, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Going back from that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone block and then a stone slab full block like this. On both sides of the stone slab full block, we're going to place down a wooden sign, like so. After that, we're going to place down another stone block that goes up like this, followed by a again, spruce stand stone block like this, and a wooden sign on both sides of that stone block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick stair on top of the stone block, followed by a stone block going back from the stone brick stair. Now down in the description I'll be linking a tutorial on how to do these lettered banners. 
So if you are interested, you can go and watch that to get a kind of inside, um, you know, idea on how to go ahead and do these banners. Um, you know, I can see, you can see here, I just did a very simple F. You guys can go and do obviously something a little bit different if you want to have, um, you know, different letters or whatever, your first initial, your name, who is um, on this jet, you can go and obviously do that. Um, but for me, I'm just going to go do F. So I just have an F banner already made. I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. And again, the tutorial is going to be linked down in the description for showing you guys how to go ahead and do that. And um, you can go ahead and just do it in a gray banner with a white background. Or if you plan on doing the tail in a green color, you can go ahead and obviously switch that out however you guys want. Uh, but basically, that right there is going to finish our um, design for the uh, Hawk T1 in flight. Um, obviously, we're going to go ahead and throw in the camouflage here now. Um, if you guys do want to include it and we're also going to be going and moving into the landed version as well so um, with that let's go ahead and move into uh, working on doing the camouflage all right guys so going ahead and moving into working on the camouflage now the camouflage is pretty simple i'm not going to do the entire aircraft um, as it's pretty straightforward on what we're doing here but basically we want to go ahead and pick a point of the aircraft to start off with so for this i'm going to start with the nose and uh, we're going to go ahead and basically start replacing blocks and working our way back from it um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of replace blocks, um, kind of random, try to keep kind of a sloped um, type design going on here. So we're slowly kind of sloping our way around um, the aircraft. We can also have the bottom section here of the nose also. So you can see I'm re replacing iron trap doors with wooden trap doors, stone brick slabs and stairs with, um, you know, dark oak wood, uh, stone brick walls with mossy cobblestone walls and stone blocks with green concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and basically take this design and wrap it around the um, fuselage here. We don't want to be too dramatic in our wraparound, but just, you know, good enough like this. And you're going to kind of wrap around here. And also, you can also have it go on the bottom here as well. So you can have it go down like that. Um, you can see we have the, kind of like the wrap here. So it kind of goes around the nose over here to this side like so. I'll go ahead and do one more on the fuselage just to kind of show you guys again. Um, we're probably going to skip maybe three spaces over. We're going to go ahead and do another kind of stripe going up here. Or another, um, you know, kind of uh, design and we want to go ahead and kind of take it so it looks like it continues to fold obviously we're not going to replace anything in our canopy but we'll go ahead and wrap around to this side have it start back up maybe about here and then we'll replace this iron trap door here uh, dark oak slab here we can even replace these stairs as well so let me go ahead and replace these real quick with dark oak wood and then we'll have this kind of come down and go out and so you have something that kind of looks like that. So again, real simple, you're just going to take that, wrap it around the fuselage, going all the way back. And uh, remember, if you delete any banners, anything like that, um, skeleton skulls replaced with green, um, you know, zombie heads and stuff like that. But you're going to go and take that and pretty much uh, work your way all the way to the back there, doing that, doing those stripes over the fuselage like so. Uh, once that's done, we can go ahead and kind of focus our attention on the wings. So the wings, um, very simple, we can go and pick a point. So if you have a few, the um, kind of camo scheme, uh, that kind of connects to the wings here, but you want to go ahead and kind of start from that and use this to kind of fade into the wings. So um, kind of creates a nice effect of showing the camouflage kind of transitioning here to the wings, kind of creates a nice um, flow to it and all that stuff. So we have something that looks just like that, pretty simple. And then uh, the wing over here is a lot of gray over here, so we can go ahead and also uh, throw in some little bit of, uh, you know, dark colors over here on this side, so a little bit more. Um, you know, stripes and stuff like that, kind of going in that section there. Um, and um, obviously you'll be doing the same thing over here on this wing, so if you don't have any um, fuselage connections uh, with the camo scheme, you can just go ahead and kind of pick any place on the wing, kind of go from it. Um, so we'll start from the stair here, and then just have this camo kind of go back like so. And then we can have maybe the wing tip with some dark oak wood as well, like that to show the color there. So pretty simple. Um, right there, you're just going to be taking the same design. Uh, going and wrapping around the fuselage here. So I'll go ahead and do one more just for example here. And just taking this back here. Do my couple to walls. And again, I'm, you know, I don't expect you guys to copy it exactly block for block how I'm doing it. Just kind of trying to give you guys a general idea so you guys can go do your own camouflage. I do recommend trying to, you know, do different camouflages or not different camouflages, but different patterns. Um, trying to make every aircraft a little bit different as it creates a better unique kind of look um, especially if a lot of these in one area it's definitely gonna you know make them a lot cooler looking I think at least in my opinion and uh, we'll go and have it wrap down to this point here and again we have the um, slabs and stuff like that on the bottom here we'll have that kind of wrap up and connect up to so just like that right there and again we delete these banners here so we need to make sure that we replace them luckily we have the banner over here we can just go and grab 
and we have our banners back in place. So again, you have something that kind of looks like that. You know, you kind of get a general idea of what we got going on here. You can see this kind of comes down into the wing here, so we can have this kind of trickle a little bit um, like that forward there. And just take some adjusting, you know, here and there, trying to figure out something that you like, you guys like, and you want to go with. And obviously, you're going to take the same thing back. And for the tail here, you know, you can just, you know, continue wrapping your stripes around. And let's say we start from right here, our camo comes up to this point, we'll just kind of bring it into the wing, or this uh, vertical stabilizer, just like this. So, pretty simple, and you know, again, if your tail is pretty green, you may want to use a green banner for white letter on it instead, um, just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, all that stuff, and accidentally delete that banner, but yeah. So, you know, you kind of get the general idea of how the camouflage goes. Um, you're just going to take this, do it for the whole aircraft around. You don't have much left uh, to do after I went ahead and did all that, but pretty straightforward, um, pretty simple. And once you have that complete, you'll have your camouflage done, and we'll be ready to go ahead and move into the landed version. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our landed version, we'll be going ahead and starting off with the front landing gear. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to the front nose up here, and we want to go ahead and go to our second uh, stone brick top slab here back, or the second slab here on the bottom. We're going to go and delete one, two, and three slabs on the bottom here like so. And we want to go and delete the stone blocks above them, so one, two, and three, like that for the front nose here. And that's done, we're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs here in the front, and then a quartz full block here on the back. We're going to place down a diorite wall that comes down like this, followed by a quartz upside down stair on the bottom of that diorite wall. And then on the bottom of the diorite, or the upside down stair, we're going to place down a block of coal. On both sides of the block of coal, we're going to place down a um, lever going up like this, and then a skeleton skull on both sides of this quartz stair. We're also going to place down a birchwood fence gate coming off the stair and open up like so. With that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then uh, grab ourselves um, the stairs, um, and we're going to go place down a row of three of stairs here. So one, two, and three. One thing to keep in mind is if you do have the camouflage here, we do want to make sure that we kind of keep it somewhat continuous so we can go ahead and replace the stair right here with some dark oak wood just to kind of keep that color, you know, palette kind of going there, uh, wrapping around. So you have something that looks just like that, and that's going to do it there for your front landing gear. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, rear landing gear. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into the rear landing gear. Uh, rear landing gear, pretty simple, um, nothing too complicated or anything like that. We're going to go and go to this row down here, so this row of four, we have this row of four stone, or basically row of four slabs, and then we have the stone slab here on the end. We're going to be going ahead and work on this row here. We're going to go ahead and go to the uh, second from front stone brick slab, and we're going to go ahead and place down a um, quartz top slab on the bottom of it, followed by a uh, quartz stair just like this. Now, coming off the back of these blocks, we're going to go ahead and take light gray banners and place down light gray banners like that on the sides there, just like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go down from the stair uh, by placing down a cobblestone wall, or actually, my bad, we're going to use a diorite wall that goes down like this, and then on the bottom here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab like so. And then coming off the top slab here to the side, we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair, stair on top of it, and then two stairs like this on the back there to go ahead and create the wheel. Um, coming off of the top here, or the, coming off this quartz stair, we're going to place down one more to the side, followed by an end rod, and then a quartz top slab like that coming off the end rod. We then want to take our light gray banners, and we're going to place down one and two on these two iron trap doors, just like that. And there we'll go ahead and kind of complete the landing gear. Pretty simple design. You're going to take the same design, flip it over the air side, and you'll have both of your landing gear all complete and ready to go. Anyways, guys, that right there is going to complete my tutorial for the uh, Base Systems Hawk T1. Um, overall, really cool looking aircraft and, um, you know, a fun aircraft nonetheless. We haven't done any trainers really on the channel, so, uh, you know, nice to get a trainer finally into the mix and um, another UK jet for sure. Um, other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. Again, a big special thanks to Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys do an abuse in this tutorial, I do want to say you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be a thing for the sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as, as, so as, long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.